What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to go over Dubia Colony setup. So starting off, you need your smooth tub. You want the walls nice and smooth. That way the Dubia can't crawl out. So we set up all the egg crates pretty much the same way. And we have it tip slight to the side. That way it stacks nice and easy for us. And then we're going to put cardboard in between each set. That way they'll all stand nice. And they won't nest in each other. And it will give them some room in between to crawl. And what's nice on the cardboard inserts, they can crawl up on that. So we're going to fill the whole area all the way. You want it tight, but not too tight because you need decent airflow, yet good humidity. And for humidity, like in a perfect world, you know, you're going to go with, say, 60%. That way it allows them to shed properly, yet not get too humid where you start getting blisters. And then for temperature, we aim for about 90 Fahrenheit on the bottom, and then it's closer to 80 on top. That way they have a decent range. They can still thermoregulate because for optimum breeding, you want above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. They still can breed at room temperature, but you're going to have not the best success rate. So from birth to adulthood takes about five to six months, depending on how much food and your exact temperatures so then once they're adults it takes about two months for them to reproduce and give live birth so we got about enough room for one more each Sometimes you gotta give it a little wiggle and jiggle. And then for a feeding tray, we use cutting boards. They got a nice grip to them still so they can climb on. And then you'll keep your egg crates dry, whether you use, you know, different types of fruits and vegetables, or if you use roach chow, egg, uh, water crystals. So now you got your inside set up pretty perfect. So once you got the inside set up, you put your adults in. This is, you know, a good amount. You might not have this many, but that's all right. You want to aim for a ratio of, you know, five females to every male. We don't always have it perfect exact, but, you know, you go for close enough. So then after you got your bugs in, you're going to want to cover it with your lid. We use screen and we hot glue it on. That way you got good airflow and nothing gets out. Well, thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe.